you're going on a Disney vacation. That's great. But what kind of Disney vacation are you going to have? Have you talked about it with family and friends and gotten questions like this? But isn't it going to be the same as the last time you went? You don't even have kids. You are going to be so exhausted, etc., etc. There are so many types of Disney vacations out there, and one size definitely doesn't fit all. I have been living in Mickey's backyard for about 10 years now, been a cast member and everything, taking my kids to the parks about 200 times now, and I could say that I still haven't done everything here at Walt Disney World. So there are so many different types of vacations to have here at the Walt Disney World Resort, and not only is it fun to imagine all the different possibilities, but it is an important first step when planning your Disney vacation. So what type of Disney vacation will you choose? We're gonna talk about what the theme of your vacation is going to be today in our Plan Your Most Magical Vacation on Earth series. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our full playlist of planning videos after this video. So this video is sponsored by Fantastical Vacations by Jordan Ashley. That's me. I am a former cast member turned Disney mom and I'm going to use my expertise and experience to help you plan the most magical vacation on earth so you can stress less and focus on the memories. If you would like to hop on a planning call with me or if you would like to fill out a guest interest form, you can do so in the description box below. Now, let's dream about your vacation. Now, I have a dream and I'm sure you do too. So let's talk about some of the things that we can be thinking about when planning your Disney vacation. Do you want to recreate memories from your childhood Disney vacation? Do you want to have the Disney vacation you never had as a kid? Do you want to have that young at heart adventure? Do you want a romantic getaway? Do you want to have the ultimate Disney food, foodie vacation? Do you want to enjoy all those magical drinks around the world? Do you want to be that family on the Disney commercial? Do you want to celebrate a big special event? Do you want to bring together multi-generations to come to together for a big family vacation? Do you want to have a solo trip or a girls trip? Or do you want to have a bachelorette party? Do you want to come on a team building event? These are some of the questions you can think about when planning your Disney vacation. Thinking about the big picture, what is most important to you? Now let's think about those most important things, compile a list, and then tell your travel agent, even if it's not me. Because while yes, you could spend the time looking it all up, researching and diving in, you probably don't have the time for that and you very well might miss something because there are so many different ways to plan a Disney vacation, so many combinations and little things that are hidden out there. Remember, I've been here for 10 years and still haven't done everything that the Walt Disney World Resort has to offer. So use a travel agent so that you can get all their expertise. They can take your dream and make it a reality. And that's not to say that there um, shouldn't be proper expectations. You are not going to be able to do it all. Like I said, I'm not even able to do it all. And I have been a cast member and been here for 10 years, taking my kids almost 200 times now. So proper expectations are a good thing. But you don't have the time, nor do you want to stress, to find all of those hidden pieces to make your dream a reality. So is your vacation gonna look like a relaxing spa honeymoon? Are you gonna build core memories with your little sing Mickey for the very first time? Are you going to relive those childhood memories or have a Disney adult's dream adventure? Are you gonna to bring together family and friends um, that you haven't seen in a long time so that y'all can bond and build special memories together? Are you a history buff looking for the magic behind Disney? Or do you just want a bunch of thrills or a combination of all of these things? That's things that you're gonna to need to think about and be prepared. Now, one thing that I talk with my guests about is how important it is to be on the same page with the people you're traveling with. So if you were traveling with a large group or um, a multi-generational family, or even just your individual family unit, you might be able to get away with separating and doing some things apart and then coming together for um, different parts of your vacation. But realistically, that is a little bit tricky and it's possible, but it does require some coordination and a lot of strategy in there. And if you're coming with your individual family unit, the likelihood of you being able to separate is pretty small, um, or at least 
not gonna happen very frequently. So it's important to be on the same page with the people you're traveling with. That's something that will save you a lot of stress later on and frustration if you know what at least all the adults, maybe some of the older kids, are really looking for in this vacation. Just like it's important for you to know as maybe the lead planner, it's important for everybody to be on the same page. So be sure to ask the other adults, maybe those older kids, what is most important to them for this vacation? What are they most excited about and what might they like to avoid or what are they most hesitant about for this vacation? And that way you could factor it in ahead of time and you will get less backlash and frustration while you're on your trip. You'll be able to enjoy it more. I know I would as a mom um, when my husband is happy and when my kids are happy. I'm having so much more fun and I think it's the same for all of them as well. Maybe not my kids. My kids are young. They probably couldn't care less but let's be honest. But um, it's the same for my spouse and I. So um, be sure to get an idea of what they're interested in so we can factor it in. Because like I say, whenever you are thinking about um, your vacation, if you want to potentially come back again someday, you want everyone to have a good time and to have fun. So this step in the planning process is definitely the easiest and probably one of the most fun. And most people don't even consider it a step, but I'm telling you, if you spend the time just to briefly write down what your plans are, your dreams, you're most excited for your, uh, your theme for your vacation. You are going to have so much more fun planning. Be sure to tell that to your travel advisor, whether it's me or not, and tell it to your family or the people you're traveling with so you're all on the same page and you can plan together because you are in for the most magical vacation on earth. It is just around the river bend, pal. And if you would like special planning with me um, where we can talk and plan out your vacation together at no cost to you so you could stress less and focus on the memories be sure to check the description box below where you can hop on a planning call with me if you don't see a time that works for you be sure to just request it i'm happy to try to accommodate that and you can also fill out a guest interest form where we can communicate um over the phone or via email if that's what you prefer at jordan ashley at fantasticalvacations.com and check out this next video in the playlist if you want to see all 13 steps for planning your most magical vacation on earth to disney world um they're all in there in a shorter version and then you can also subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get detailed planning um as the videos come out each week so i will see you there pal